you want to do when starting a run and walk installation is establish your property lines. So what we tend to or generally do is use a rebar pin here, then we attach a string line, which gives us a nice reference point that we'll use throughout the rest of the install. So from your string line here, you'll use that as reference to mark out your holes. Um, and you want to have those marked every nine feet going throughout the project. But the thing that's really important to remember is to dig your hole on the correct side of the string. So once you have your holes dug, you can use the metal post to check and make sure that your holes are well centered by bringing your post in and touching it to the string line and making sure you have sufficient concrete, about four inches generally around all sides of the post. Once you're determined that your holes are all dug correctly and in the right location, you wanna go through with a shovel and clean out any loose dirt that may be in the bottoms of the holes and then come through with a two by four and compact the bottoms of the holes to make sure that you don't eliminate settling issues in the future.